Hey, hey, it's Yvonne. It is Saturday the 5th or the 6th. I don't know. I literally haven't been out of the house for three days. I didn't even bother to get dressed. I just worked on stuff around the house. But today's a nice day. The snow is finally melting. It doesn't really look like a lot from this side. It'll be the other side of the mountains where most of it is. We're kind of protected here in this valley. Anyways, I'm feeling about as excited as that thing. So <laughs> let's go have some fun. Tomorrow I'm going on a private pick. One of my reseller friends is planning on moving, so she's getting rid of her eBay stuff and going to give us thrift store pricing. You know what? <laughs> I'll talk to you inside, okay? I think a lot of other people <laughs> in town must have stayed home the last few days too. Normally, I would come here and be in and out before noon hit. So there's a lot of people here, so filming at this location might be a little sparse. But I've picked up this little condiment server because it's a dollar fifty. A little notepad with googly eyes. <laughs> fifty cents. Smiley face, right? So of course. Let's see what this is. $9.99 not on sale. I know. That's nice, but we'll have to pass. You guys, I seriously can't film here on a Saturday, one o'clock, half price day. People will get mad at me. Right now there's not too many people in this row, but I did do it and pick out some things. So I'll just show you here. This is like a teapot cover. So that's gonna be European like what Polish or Ukraine or German I've got quite a few interesting things in my cart a little tonella dish and it's a trinket box this unusual item for $2.99 I like the brocade on it some interesting pieces I'll have to show you later okay I want to look at these dolls check their eyes and their crocheted outfits passing on the dolls and their crocheted dresses I'm just more interested in like this dress for some reason but anyways teapot cover for sure okay we're gonna turn around and try to do the other aisle but probably have to do it myself you guys there's just too many people here right now well, I'm probably missing some good stuff, but I literally had to just like back up and find a quiet spot by furniture and just regroup before I go back in. There are so many people. The line to check out is now wrapped all the way to the back by furniture. Anyways, not complaining, just telling you what it is. <laughs> I'm not complaining, I'm just taking action. It was kind of exciting because I came here to settle down a little bit and right here, this thing was setting and I said oh that looks like George's Briard or Frank Lloyd Wright 99 cents really that made me happy yeah so it doesn't matter what owl you pick you're gonna find something right and this Hager piece was with it too that's a shame it's in really bad shape but you know what I'm gonna take it and if they give me a really good price on it I'm gonna get it and save it okay I'm gonna take a deep breath and go back in you guys so I'm just working my way back to a couple of the hard good rows I'm gonna pick one that's not too busy but I did take a peek at this cart setting here and I got lucky I'm gonna show you I just chose them real quick and put them in the cart. I think it was $2.99 or $3.99. But you know I have that glow sale coming up. Misty's coming over. I told you guys that. $3.99, no problem. I will take both of them. I was able to look at mugs. There's a few cuties in here. New, but I'm thinking of Valentine's for the booth. That's pretty cute. Can't put it in a microwave though. Duh. No, no, no. Um, 
I would like to get this. I don't buy a lot of it, but when it's more of that artsy, art deco-ish pattern, it would cost me $5.99. And I'm concerned because there's the only damage, a little bit of paint coming off of that, but they put the tape on it. You'd have to soak it in warm water and cross your fingers. But that's the kind of lusterware I like to buy. Okay, this row's thinning out a little bit. We might be able to do glasses together. Those are pretty. They're modern, but those are pretty. Let's see. We've only got about eight feet before we start running into people again. Oh, that looks like cut glass. And frosted. Not, there's only three, oh, four or five. I might get those. That's pretty. Let's see if I can figure out whose it is. Yeah, I'm gonna put those in the cart. And, it looks new. Pier one, Mexican glass, that's pretty. I'd get that too if there were a couple more. Let's see. Okay, I gotta stop now. Hi, you guys, I'm back. They're starting to settle down. I went over to the jewelry where it was more quiet, but it took a long time because she had to, um, because, you know, she had to open up the case. But I did get some jewelry. It's at the register since it came out of the case. So, since it calmed down and I was so long at the jewelry, I said, let me make one more trip and see any carts they pulled out. It was sitting right here, just like that. I know what it is. Maybe not the most epic color. This one still has the sticker, Hope, and the birthmark is underneath. 99 cents. Glassy baby at the thrift store. Yes. Here's other things I picked out. Jewelry that was not in the counter. This is a vintage listener. It says it inside, listener. So even though it's not on sale, that's worth it. Oh, these are cute. Wooden salad tossing hands with a bonus. <laughs> Some little glass ornamentation and those will be half price. Did I add anything else? No, just jewelry and stuff. And the rest I can't show you. And I might get this. This is pretty cool. There's a barcode so it couldn't be too old. Not past the 70s, right? I think I'll get that for me. Anyways. I know you're only a white one, but you're still cute, and somebody might be missing this one in your collection, and for 99 cents, we are so happy. Yes, it's finally calmed down. Now the line, there's still a little bit of a line, but not too bad. Okay, you guys, hi, hi, it's Yvonne. I mentioned going to a private pick from one of my friends. Now I'm here, and Becky's here. I'm gonna show you in a moment. You guys know who it is. I didn't want to mention it until the private pick was done. You know, you got to keep some secrets, you guys. And then, um, quite frankly, when Becky and I are done, if we're going to pass this on to a couple other local friends, but you know, this is the hardcore stuff that you have to do as a reseller, okay? We're not trying to be mean, but this is how business rolls. But it's Lori. Do you guys remember Lori? There's Lori and there's Becky. Yeah, you've seen Lori and I shop. Unfortunately, and I told her this when I met her, when she told me about her boyfriend in Tennessee, I said, okay, I'm already fond of you, but I can tell I'm not going to get to keep you as a friend. You're going to move someday, aren't you? <laughs> and sure enough, she's preparing. She's downsizing and she's preparing you know, to concentrate on her love life too. She's a great picker. Look at all this, you guys. She set it up for us. It's like a thrift store. Well, no, it's better than a thrift store because this is all specially curated. Mm -hmm. So Becky and I are here. We're going to go through. And um, Lori, look at all this jewelry. Oh my gosh. So cute. But some of you that are local, we'll pass this on to you when we're done. And I know you ain't going to be mad because you know how it is. Lori, she saved me something. You want to come? Yeah. Will you tell them about that? This is Roseanne Hall. Wait a minute. Let me get the mic on you. Roseanne Hall, uh, Mexican. This is hand blown, hand etched, made from recycled glass. The company Roseanne Hall in Mexico. If you go to YouTube and look up the video, the owner of this is severely disabled. 
and he hires disabled people. And the video shows these disabled people, some of them using their feet. Oh my gosh. Engraving this stuff. It's, and it's, very, it's very hard to find and it's very expensive. And this is my gift to Vaughn oh. for helping me out. I love you. I'm, I'm starting to miss you already. I'm not happy. <laughs> but hey, it's just another place to stop when I do road trips. To go see Lori and meet her beau. You guys, she has sold these before. I remember her and I working with these when she found them. And like, I learned something new, but I kind of forgot. And I and I did say, Laura, Laura, you need to keep these and sell them yourself. But no, she wants to give them to me. But I wanted her to tell you guys that story because it's so amazing. So I will accept the gift and I'll probably keep two of them. Anyways, look at all this stuff, you guys. So we're going to get started. I'll show you guys a few things and then I better put the camera down and get started because you know I mean I love me some Becky but she's here with me too you know so <laughs> but we kind of lean into different things so let's see Lori says she's just you know thrift store prices she's not trying to make any money just kind of downsize get some of her money back that she can save so eventually she will restart her eBay because she does do well you guys she really does oh there's a whole bunch more over there all right I've been here about an hour and a half I'm still in the kitchen with the jewelry, <laughs> but I've done all the jewelry. There's probably more I should buy, seriously. Each one of these is full. I'll probably be back, but I've picked out all of this stuff. Now, some of it's gonna be for me, but most of it will be for sale. This is all full. <laughs> you know, I've got a jewelry sale coming up with Stephanie, and Becky might join us, but I think I better plan another I better plan another jewelry sale, huh? This one right here. Some really cute stuff. Look at this little Hershey's German, Kiss. German. That's so cute. It, it, it There's a lot of good stuff in here, you guys. Some costumes, some vintage. The costume jewelry, though, is good stuff. Like that one there. That is a J. Crew. I'm really excited. I'm buying this for the beads. I want those. I'm going to buy this for those beads. I want to do something with those. This is contemporary piece, but made to look, you know, antique and vintage. But those beads are epic. Okay, so this is what I've done so far. And she made us homemade cookies. Yes, I've already had one. Homemade Toll House chocolate chip cookies. Like your grandma loves you. Yes. She still has a lot left. We're going to turn on some other people. And, you know, she's got some time, you know, and she might have some of her own sales. Um, I suggested if push comes to shove, maybe she do some lots. If she does choose to do that, I should get this one, shouldn't I? That's got matching earrings, too. I should probably get this one. That's fun. I don't think it's old, but it's got that, you know, 60s, 70s, even 80s vibe. Okay, what was I saying? If she does ever choose to do that... Um, I'll give you guys a heads up, okay? I know some of you would be very interested. I'm going in here now. Becky's got to jump on me, but that's okay because we kind of like who's, different things. Who's staying in there a really long time? <laughs> I was in here in over an hour and a half. Yeah, jewelry is not really her groove, but um, we kind of buy different things anyways. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to take these. Uh, I've got some at home. You all know I love these. This is the Viking Georgian. Yes, I've got some of these at home. And I like the Fostoria too. Oh, no. I need to get those someplace <laughs> safe. All right, let's go in and see what else. All right. Let's see. That's some nice cobalt. What are these, Libby? Do you? I can't remember. I think those are. Those are um, nice though. I can't remember what they are either. That's nice. I got to change it. All right, that might be where we're going. I'm just letting you guys look and then I'm going to have to put the camera down and get to work. <laughs> Good morning, gorgeous. I think I see yeah, that little so kitty cat teapot. We're going to look at that frog teapot. You know I'm going to pick some oh, stuff out of there. Yes, and here. <laughs> and here I see a Lacombe in the back. That right there, that's probably going to be Lacombe. Yeah. 
Yeah, I from the nineties, eighties, nineties, I see some Avon. I'll pick up a few critters. Oh my God, like Lots of unicorns. Oh, I was with her when she bought these. She never got them listed. I guess she's gonna let them go. Those are kind of cool. She, I'll ask her in a minute because we had to look up what kind of wood, and she found it. I'll ask her in a minute if she remembers. She's writing Becky up. Oh my goodness! Look at that baby. Look at that mouse. Some nice anthropomorphic things. Okay. Here's wow. She owes you money anyway. <laughs> I do. I bought some stuff from Becky. They're talking about me behind me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm answering them. Some milk glass. I'm going to tap five onto you. Okay. Letting you guys look. Tardy tax. How about a tax for selling stuff on your live sale that you know <laughs> girlfriend loves? Some weeping bright and gold. Okay, let me come around to the other side. Oh, I love that pink thing. It's like a butterfly. We're going to get that. We're going to get that. There's some nice pottery see some Ray Dunn. Lots of swans. Oh. It does. I actually bought it for taking pictures. Mm -hmm. That is nice. Some, what is that? Paula, Pauline, Sarah Polly. I know. After Sarah Justin Polly. Everybody was watching for, like, for what? Those girl bases. Oh, yeah. The big eyes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Can you guys see in there? One of these pieces has a little bit of glow in it. Just a little bit. Some nice crystal. Look at the tonella. Yes, I'll pick you guys up some tonella. Got an oil spill, ceramic mold piece, and a horse. Probably going to have to get that. Right? Mm hmm I didn't show you guys what Becky got. She's already got it packed up. It's a secret. <laughs> so you'll have to catch it on our live sales, I guess. We're going to get that dolphin. That might be a Lennox. That might be some. She, Lori says it's all Lennox. And we're going to look through the artwork. This too? Yep. Oh my gosh. Hello, pulpit. <laughs> What's that called? Hello, Jack in the pulpit vase. Oh, we're going to get that. It's contemporary, but it's got that kind of adventurino kind of style. We've got some bohemian glass. The one with the gold is just missing its head. What is that, Becky? Whoops. That's iris and herringbone. Whose is it? I don't know. Oh, that's... um. But it's in marigold with an iridized finish. Iris and herringbone. Jeanette. Jeanette. Okay, some blendo. Okay, <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying this. I think I see some more Jeanette or this cube thing. A lot of people made it, so I'll have to study it and ask the girls too what they think that particular pattern is. You kind of really got to check it, check the bottom, you got to check the color palette. All right, you guys, there's Becky's box. <laughs> oh, she's got some Scandinavian stuff. You know, she loves that. Yeah, All right. <laughs> oh, maybe some Santa. Georgian. The Santa and the reindeer. Yes, this is really a good pick. And then I'm going to go upstairs. She's got some clothing, too, that I'm going to go through. Okay, let me do it. And... <laughs> do you want me to turn it around? Okay, you guys, let me do this, okay? Because Becky's already ready to go, and we're gonna since we're down this far, we're gonna go hit the um, a Goodwill down here that we hardly ever go to. Mm -hmm. And I'm gonna eat a couple more cookies too. <laughs> thank you, Lori. You're welcome. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Yes, thank you so much for having us. Well, that was super fun. I think I spent 170, and Becky spent about 50. We got some really good deals. If anything I bought from her at good prices sells for a lot, I will tip her out. I told her that, because I did get a couple pieces of Murano too. Anyway, so now we're at the Little Goodwill here in Widefield or Fountain. I haven't been here for probably five years uh, since I come all the way down here. Not gonna leave without popping in. 
This is a lot smaller one, so the aisles are a lot tighter, and there's a lot of people here, or it just seems like it because the aisles are tighter. I don't know. That's cute. It's new, but it's interesting. I have a lot of these. This one, oh, that one's iridescent too. $3.99 and half price. Yeah, I'll take another one. Always, I love those. I keep some, I sell some. I would get that for a pending holiday, but I see it's starting to come off of the silver. Oh, there's a big chunk of recycled glass. That's a big chunk. Wow. Okay, I can't even pick that up. Hang on. That probably weighs about eight pounds. It's not a fire and light, of course, but it would certainly complement with a fire and light collection. That's for sure. Oh, that's cracked on the bottom. Someone's practicing the piano. <laughs> I hope that's not too annoying. And someone's throwing stuff on the other side. Um, I'll have to see you guys in a minute. Okay, the piano stopped. But in the meantime, I think this is vintage. But if not, it's super cool and it's a third off. It's a nice shell with some, if this was pottery, I guess I'd call it Moriage. <laughs> <laughs> raised raised little pieces of paint and it's kind of ombre on the edges and then metallic so there's a good chance it's vintage but if not it's still pretty darn cool let's see oh I thought this was cool it's ten dollars though it's contemporary but wow that's really pretty I don't want to buy in it that much. Oh, you know what this is? <laughs> this is the bottom to a lava lamp. I don't want to shake it. It's so funny because just yesterday someone was saying, hey, you have a lot of lava lamps. We can't find one. If you see one at the thrift store, get one for my husband. He's a rocker musician. So I'm on the lookout. I have, personally, I own several. They're in my kitchen. They're everywhere. But mine are authentic um, vintage ones. Pretty cobalt. I think these are, I don't know what that is. That looks new. I'm not gonna say Libby because I think that's new. Becky's around here somewhere. I saw her asking for a key to the case. So she spotted something. Metal. It's really busy, <laughs> but you know, we had the, the three days of snow and hardly anybody went anywhere. My mom loves cattails. $1.99 if she doesn't want this. I love cattails too, and it's from my younger days with my mom. She took a broken clay pipe and spray painted it and then decoupage some cattails. I was like six years old and it just stuck with me <laughs> the way she would upcycle found items. Oh look, there's Becky. Would you pull out of the case? Not out of the case. Oh, I thought I heard you get the key. I just looked at some shoes. Oh, that's nice. I don't know what it is exactly, but it's got a... Oh, I've never bought, I've never bought any of that kind of a mold. Mc McNeese, you guys. Cute, I want to though. check the lid to see how it looks, but I'm a little chai tea. <laughs> I don't know what that is either. Chai tea whisk. Chai tea whisk. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. We're going to look around some. Hang on. Well, I think I'll get this too. $2.99, 30% off. Look at that. The holidays will be here before we know it. It's still new. Where did it come from? Target or Walmart? Ashlyn, who is that? Kohl's, Walmart? Oh, um, Joanne's. Joanne Fabrics? Yep. Okay. I'm going to get it though. I'm going to get that. And I know you guys don't get mad. I know this is Hobby Lobby Repop, but I want that. I want that for myself. 
happen. So that's going to happen. <laughs> I know. But now this is a winner, right? $3.99, 30% off. That's in great shape. Look at that one, Becky. That's a big one. Yeah, these are kind of popular. So, Becky, do you want that? You can put it in my cart. I think I'm going to pass on it. If you want to think about it, just put it in here. All right, let's see what else we got here. Man, this place is busy, you guys. Oh, my gosh. And loud. There's a lot of kids here. It's loud. <laughs> so, I'm just saying. Just saying. I can deal with it, but... Oh, this is a brand... I don't do this, but a lot of people do. But here's a brand right here. If you like to sell this kind of stuff, that's one of the brands that will sell to as a replacement. It's calming down here a little bit. Only thing I've added, some smiley face napkins that are 30% off. So now we're checking the rounder tops. Becky's already headed home. That's kind of interesting. It's glass. $3.99, that would be half off. I think we'll get that. That's interesting enough for $2. Oh, I added this duck. Sorry, my bad. Look at this thing. $5.99. <laughs> Let me set it up for you guys. Does it set? I don't know. Okay. There we go. Wood and leather and... Mmm. I think that's, and I think that comes off. Yes, yes, apparently it's a bottle and that comes off. <laughs> I'm going to get it. It's interesting. I'll put that back on in a minute when I have my hands free. Here's one of those things we get advertised a lot on Instagram. The quality's iffy this look I think it's also sold at Ross kind of Picasso looking $7.99 that's a bit much it's not a real high-end brand Let's see what else might be on some of these rounder tops jungle book that looks like an older one actually that was one of the first cartoons I ever saw at the theater a long time ago I remember how mesmerized I was by like the grandeur of the theater but the big velvet curtains and <laughs> I mean when you're like five or six that's really something thought I'd wander over to clothing where it's a little more quiet oh wait hello 90s Monique yep I sold a ton of this stuff in the 90s out of a little store I had next to a Marshalls, a suburb of Dallas. And those hand-painted t-shirts with the matching pants, kind of like pajamas, but yet, you know, we would wear them out. <laughs> Just checking fabrics. Casper, that's not bad. Wait, I think I see another blast from the past. Yep, there's another one. <laughs> Actually, these will, I should probably buy those. Those will definitely be coming back. Always like to sell a nice sequin top if I can find it gotta watch the way it's cut to make sure it'll fit though it can't just be cute on the hanger this is what I kind of try to teach people that want to sell clothing is you have to kind of be able to look at a cut and tell and I t and I really like sticking to stretchy fabrics too I sew my mom sews and I've worn a lot of different clothes in my life. I really tried to find just one more item before I said goodbye. 
but I looked at all the rounder tops and didn't really find anything. Like I said, this is just a small one. Anyways, I got a few things. It's all good. I didn't add anything that I didn't already show you guys, so I think I'm tapped out. That's enough for, it's about 4.30. That's enough. Two thrift stores and that awesome private pick with Lori. So, I hope you guys had a little bit of fun, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.